think the civil rights movement in the United States is at a very interesting point. Um, I choose, because I'm an optimist, I see incredible opportunity. The Chinese symbol for chaos is also the symbol for opportunity, and, and I think about that whenever I think about where we are in the civil rights movement. As an openly gay black man, I uh, am very encouraged by what I'm seeing, because I think that where we are in LGTB civil rights is where we were with African American and with women and with uh, uh, probably 20, uh, 30, 40 years ago. So I, I see a continual progression. I think history and time and the universe is on our side. When I look at my children who identify straight but are very, very, I'm pleased, they're, they're very, very proud um, that I am out and open. And um, it's just, it's, it's a matter of fact to them and it's not a big, it's not a big deal. And it was so heartening and so warming that the newer generations are really embracing this fight. And uh, I know that time is on our side and I know it's a matter of time before we have full equality. So for me, uh, having made the transition from someone who uh, was straight or in the closet or, and conflicted about my orientation to now where uh, I fully embrace who I am and to see my children fully embrace who I am and all of their friends. Uh, and I live out, you know, I'm a soccer dad, I'm a PTA parent, um, and I deal with folks all the time. And when I came out, I was so, I was so uh, delighted and so encouraged by all of my colleagues, all the folks on the PTA who really embraced me. And I think, uh, I think that's the model. I think we need to live out and I think we need to be out. And I think it's just a matter of time before the politics catch up to where we really live and breathe.